is there any advice that you can give to become like the storyteller that you are? Okay, so, um, you know, there are different types of storytelling and there are different ways of storytelling. I think that the best thing to do when you begin to tell stories, first of all, is understand what kind of stories you want to tell. So my, my, thing, my advice is always start with a story that's personal to you because it's easier to tell it. You know, when you're not having to learn up something, it's much easier to tell it when it's playing through your head because then you tend to use more normal words as well. That's the second thing. Don't go into fabulous fancy words. You know, great fancy words are brilliant to read on a paper. They're terrible when you're listening to a storyteller because you lose track of what you're listening to. So if you want your audience to be totally hooked onto what you're saying, they have to be able to follow what you're saying. Um, the next thing, which is really important, is learn your story. Even if you're telling a personal story, write it down so you have an idea of um, what the script will be like, and then learn it up. Because if you stop to go, mm, mm, you actually don't do yourself any favors either. And I think the next thing that I want to say, which is really important, it may not sound important, but it truly is. Plant your feet very firmly on the ground. Actually connect. Okay, if you're sitting cross-legged on the floor or something, then you can't plant your feet. But make sure that whatever your base is, it should be really feel the connection between you and the ground. It's incredibly relaxing and it gives you the chance to, to focus better. And finally, these are my top five tips to get started with storytelling. And finally, the fifth one, you know, we tend to do this when you go up onto stage or in front of people and you, you know you're going to tell a story, you're going to perform it, so to speak. Somehow our voices kind of go into higher pitch. You know, you start talking like this because you're trying to understand it consciously, take a deep breath, and then actually go down a couple of octaves and so go back. So that, you know, where your, your shoulders go downwards, physically push your shoulders down and bring your voice up from your belly so that it's a deeper voice. The moment you speak with a deeper voice, somehow you do tend to get more relaxed. Your story will come out more easily. Start with that. So yeah, somebody just said, summarize it um, very quickly. Take a personal story, much easier. It, just because you can play it in your head so you know what happened. Don't use complicated words. Don't use exciting sentences. I was listening to somebody who was very sweet telling a story about how she gets a realization. She has this epiphany one day. And she says, you know, this, it, this sort of feeling, this realization came to her and then it crawled down her body and it got into all the nooks and crannies of her, her joints and kind of tingled over there. You know, no, don't. It's, it's unnecessary. Learn to first get the story out and then go back to things like that. Learn it up because if you know what you're saying, you're able to focus better. Number four, plant yourself, whichever part, whether you're sitting cross-legged, plant your bottom firmly on the floor. If you're standing, plant your feet firmly on the floor. Feel the earth. And finally, speak with a deeper voice. Relax your shoulders, bring your voice out from the base of your tummy. Amazing. 